Hi everyone, it's Chris, aka Lady Taka, and it is time for a thrift store finds and rummage sale finds video. So I've got quite the haul today. This is for what will cover the week of August 16th through the 22nd, 22nd being today. It's 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 not so hot anymore. It's like 60 late upper 60s, early 70 kind of temps, but the humidity is awful. So I did go to a bag sale yesterday that made my weekend because it was literally $2 for a bag and I filled up a bag. So I think I paid an average of 10 cents per item. I did, however, have to pass on her four pieces of uranium glass because they were chipped so severely that I actually thought I would cut myself on it. Um, so I left them. I did see one piece of uranium in estate sale today, but it was just like the very bottom of a cup, and it was a clear cup, not a pink cup. If it had been a pink with that watermelon effect, I would have gotten it because it would just brought together Dad in my collection. Because Dad has the pink depression he inherited from his mom, and I have the uranium. But we still have a really good mix, and I'll let you know when the items are from the bag sale and when they aren't. So the first. One of the first things I put in my bag at the bag sale are these vintage Santa and Mrs. Claus tin uh, storage containers. They're as old as I am. They're from 1980 for Santa, and you had to wait until next year, 81 for her. So she's as old as he's a year older. Um, but they have Woolworth stickers on the bottom. That's how vintage they are. So I pay a dime a piece and I'll sell them together. They're in pretty good condition. Store cookies or whatever in there. Good, good vintagey Christmas item. Uh, this I salvaged from a free box today. I figured it's a play on a cement mixer, but it's supposed to be a cookie mixer for Cookie Monster. So that's just going to go in my dad's village. I just fill his village up with geeky things. He's a Christmas village and because of me partly a Halloween village so this was my amazing quarter find at the estate well the antique store sale down the street from me she has one every year and like she had paperweights for ten dollars a piece it wasn't bad if you're buying it for you but not for resale um so this is a little Ellie Smith moon and stars in green toothpick holder so Okay, it was also the weekend for a lot of um, jewelry items, like pins and that. All right, so this is an Inesco Japan Imports E-8254 uh, car planter. I can't remember what model this is at the moment. I can't tell if that was part of the designer. It feels under the glaze, so I'm guessing that was their mistake on there, but it still looks cool. I paid a whole dime. I'm sure I can make some money on it. And I tried to limit my mugs this week. Um, this one I got from the St. Benny's in Ishperming. Um, it's a Weimaraner mug. I have one similar that's a pointer on my Etsy store right now, but it's really hard to find Weimaraner stuff, so I thought that was cute, and I couldn't pass up the obvious Odegary without a sticker. By the way, so high humidity last two days that stickers were literally just falling off things that you'd pick up, because they literally couldn't stay on. But this little Canadian geese mug I sold another one with a similar design. It's got still got that embossing where it's raised. Uh, we'll do the cute toys next. Got these from St. Vinny's and Ishpering. This is a raccoon named Macaroon. Uh, he's a Russ and Berry toy. I will probably try and sell him. But he sold me between the name Macaroon and having a leather tie on him. And when I looked him up, he is supposed to have this leather tie. It's not some kid throwing it on. And then this adorable Precious Moments Bonnie. Now, normally I don't do a bunch of Precious Moments. This is by Applause. 
You know it's precious moments because of those eyes, but this still has its locket, and it's the cutest thing. You open up the little plastic locket, and it says, Some Bunny Cares. I love a good pun. And its nose is all intact. So I will attempt to sell that. Sorry about my sniffling. My allergies are killing me today. Whatever is growing today is insane because I literally took a Claritin D before bed last night and then woke up with itchy skin at 2 in the morning. So I took a Zyrtec. So I'm on two allergy pills. And I'm still considering taking Benadryl on top of it. So this was a cool little find at that bag sale. So for 10 cents, it was worth it just for this cool carrying case. But uh, they did adjust the carrying case. Apparently, they didn't like the fork or spoon sticking in there the way it was so they cut a little cutout for it but look at this thing it's like the ultimate camping swiss army knife you got a fork you've got a spoon it's got this like fakey bone feeling to it i can't find a mark on it anywhere of course it might be in one of the blades i haven't been able to move all the blades out it's a little rusty um plus i didn't want to cut myself but there's a corkscrew, scissors, three different screwdriver sizes, I assume, oh, saw. So, figure that has to be worth the 10 cents I paid for it, right? Then the next thing is something I just threw in the bag for that bag sale, because I was like, what is it? I don't know, we'll research it later. So little checkbook thing full of like numbers and letters I haven't figured out what they spell yet but they're like little just aluminum pieces um they look like they go into the groove of a sign but for a, di a dime or less threw them in I'm gonna save the jewelry for last uh this I paid a quarter for and again the humidity has done it in as it is peeling originally a Walmart product don't figure out what year that was, but I mean, the box says 1992. But it's a cute set of Pillsbury Doughboy cookie cutters, so figured I'd try and sell that. Uh, picked this up. I think I got, I can't remember if I got 20% off this or not. I don't think I did, but it was only a buck. Um, it says made in Taiwan or Republic of China. That'll help date it. But it's just like a brass bear. But it, it hangs on the wall and you can hang something off of it. So I thought that was cute. Uh, got this today at St. Vinny's in Ishpeming. It's just a cute little ashtray that looks like a sombrero. And it says Mexico Ross on the back. And on the front, it says Porta Valerta. So obviously it was a tourist piece, but it's got that hand-painted Tanala look. Uh, threw this in my bag. It's marked Sanmiuro, Japan. And it's just a little house blessing thing to put on the wall. It says, God bless our home, abide with us through every day and night, that we may live in love and peace in thy blessed light. So, but nice clear sticker on the back. All right, this is the one thing that got in that was chipped in my bag. But I re I have no idea if it was chipped before or after. I was pretty good about seeing chips, but for what was $2 a bag sale, I threw it in. It's marked Japan on the bottom. It's a little lady trinket box. It's just her hat has a chip there and a chip in the back. But... I think I was more looking that she had all her hands and toes in that. Wasn't really worried about the hat. So I'm not even sure which way her thing goes on. Um, it looks like it's been through a lot, but I'll sell it cheap. Because it's pink and I don't usually keep things that are pink. Uh, uh, threw this bunch of cards into my bag. And what's, I did count these ones. They are all there. They're California Raisin ones. And then the other boxes are uh, Critter Cards by Post Cereals. Uh, the author's book. Things are falling. I figured if nothing else, if they weren't complete, I could use them in crafts. 
There's a little uh, joke set. And the author game playing cards, which is just intriguing to me. So we'll pull one out. So we have Tales of a Traveler, Washington Irving, Rip Van Winkle, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and the Alhambra, which is the third one I'd never heard of, but for a, essentially a dime for all of those. They were all in the, the pack together. Trying to keep some light. Oh! Uh, I don't want to go through the jewelry yet. Uh, picked these up at a sale today. I'm sure they're more modern because they're plastic stoppers on the bottom, but they're just a cute, I paid a buck for the pair, cute little like bulldog military uh, set. Now I'm looking, might be Marines by that symbol, but just a little cute little salt and pepper shaker set. Dogs, you know, will get me. Uh... And I'll start going through the pins a little. So this sale I got like each piece for a dime too. So there's a Noah's Ark bracelet and a pin. This cool like old style glasses pin. Uh, don't stab myself. Don't stab myself. This one... It looks like a teacher or secretary pin. Probably secretary or businesswoman pin. This one is just a little sweet. It says a uh, nasty to sweet attitude barometer. And it's just on this side of sweet. <laughs> then we got like a little clock pin. Hold on. It's not cooperating. Lock my face so it focuses on the thing. Cute little uh, tree. A uh, little cowboy hat. And a couple little birds. And focus on the birds. Sparkles tend to not focus well. And so these ones I think I got at St. Vinny's. So this very cool tie pin. Little uh, Taurus Zodiac tie pin. A little uh, change purse pin. Yeah, it was just the week for pins in that. And then a little tiny accordion. <laughs> And I threw all the other little things in this cup. <clears throat> Alright, so I essentially paid a dollar for all four of these. Only one is silver plate. The other three are night as stainless. But they're all like baby spoon size. Um, this one is marked England Oneida. So they all have slightly different patterns to them. And then this one's triple plate. And break from the chain. I couldn't, I, I have a thing for getting these pencil sharpeners. This looks like it was almost supposed to be turned into a rock at first, um, but it's just a little golf cart thing. I do think I was looking this up and there were technically two other golf clubs that would have gone in this originally, but they usually get lost because they, people pull them out and never put them back in. Uh, and then similarly, I had to get the grandfather clock one. If nothing else, sometimes those are great to sell as dollhouse pieces. Okay, so I got two of these Canadian pins. And one of these, they're all from Fort William. This was in the bag sale. So, probably paid like three cents a piece for those. Same with this little football charm. Then this is actually a Pony Express Merchant Coin. So on this side, you have the Pony 
Express Sky Riding, and then the other side it almost looks like Mount Rushmore, but I guess it's the three founders of the Pony Express. But again, bag sell. Throw anything in that looks interesting. Even if I, you know, sell it for three bucks plus shipping, you know, I've still made something and it will go to a place that appreciates it. And I'll take a break from the jewelry. So this I paid two dollars for. One, it's got a train on it, and it's the New York Central train. But two, when you're watching all the thrifting hauls from everyone else in the thrifting videos, what does Jocelyn on Crazy Lamp Lady always tell us to look out for? There it is, Wendell August. Apparently, someone posted their Wendell August find last night. It was like a leopard or something on it. it looked cool too, but it looked to be about a similar size. So. That's the reason I risked the plate aluminum. Uh, it, it is hand forged aluminum, handmade. Um, so we'll see. Uh, this I paid a dollar for and was just intrigued by it. It's marked Barlow B60. And at first I'm like, oh, that's a really pretty pagoda with a mountain behind it. And I'm like, oh, it's a money clip, but it's also a knife. So I thought that was cool. You got a knife in a file and a money clip. Very pretty. Uh, I picked up these four, five, five. There's five books here. I'll sell them as a lot. Cinderella, Toy Story. They're all 90s, I think. Uh, Prince and the Popper, Lion King, and Jungle Book. Because anyone who's homeschooling their kid will take any educational-like material at this point. Uh, this is one of the last things I threw in my bag and carefully made it to the car and wrapped it. Um, but it's 75th anniversary birthday, Mr. Peanut. And I actually have the other version, which is just a smaller jar. And when I got it home, because I couldn't get the lid off there, it had a chip. But this one does not. And it actually looks like Mr. Peanut. So I think that's cool. All right, so I grabbed this thinking, oh, that'd be cute. But then I found damage. It got too close to a heat source. So it'll just be a pencil holder for me. Or hold jewelry at the point. Um, then I went to a different room and I got these four items for a quarter each. This has a bird on it. So I snagged that. And it actually came in its own plastic bag. Just a little pendant. Um, some of these other things I might use, like the charms in making ornaments or sun catchers. So this looks like some sort of Aztec Mayan thing. And then a medical symbol. And then this cool pin. Little cowboy taking a nap with an agate. Uh, threw these in the bag. They were in the garage. They're marked Made in Canada Century. Uh, this is the cleanest one. Just Montreal, Canada. Touristy item. Uh, I threw this in my bag. Just a cute little stained glass feeling snowman um and i did go a little trinket box crazy this week because i had someone order three for me this week so i found this one for a buck fifty which is a little more than i normally play but it still has this andrea by sadak thing on it and the flowers are really well done on it even if they're transfer um and i got this one today for a dollar it's marked lefton and genuine alabaster made in italy and the flowers are very well painted on there. And the inside looks like it's never been used. Like you could have put your cream in it and whatever. Look very pretty on someone's vanity. And this isn't exactly a trinket box, but it's like a little treasure chest. It's marked Marquette, Michigan, which is where I'm from. And I threw my 
other little things from the sale on it other than the jewelry. So this is the one that's different. Someone must have made a replacement out of an old nut and screw kind of thing. But I figured these were cute. I could sell them in a lot. They're just little tiny cups. Sell them to someone for their dollhouse. Okay. I also got another Nemoji pot. Their face. They are chasing me. I did not sell the first one I found, which is about this size, but more tall than this bulbous shape. Um, but I did sell the bigger of the two for thirty. So for a dollar or less per one I find, I'm good. Paid a dollar for this one. Uh, this I rescued for seventy nine cents from Goodwill. It's Windsor Bone China. England Royal Canadian Tartan. It's Mark 1715-52. Um, I'm hoping that next time I go to Goodwill, the sugar dish will have come out. It just, I don't know, the Scott and me had to get the tartan. But there's some cool leaves on there too. Uh, toss these into my bag. Uh, they're just marked Japan, I think. Uh, just a little wear on the bottom, but they're two little tomato salt and pepper shakers. Uh, tossed him into my bag. He's a made in Japan little figure. Very cute. Eyes going to the side. Picked this up for a dollar from Goodwill. It's a Care Bears uh, Lasting Memories uh, birthday bear. And it says, Happy Birthday, Sweet Stuff. Um, I grabbed it just because I know my Care Bear mugs have sold well. I don't generally do much decorative plates. But then when I looked it up when I got back to the car, it was selling for 20 with shipping. With free shipping. So, I mean, even if I got just 10 for this in shipping, it'd be good. Uh, then this needs some cleaning. But it is an Astrology Zodiac Tribbit in this orangey color. Kind of looking more red on the screen right now, but shockingly orange. It says, Astrology is but a heavenly language, a vocabulary like music and art, that leads, not compels, and helps us to understand each other better by Frank Coma. I didn't even see the Frank Coma mark. Um, looks like one of the pads they had on here fell off. I don't know if that's what's remaining of it or not, but there's no sticky left at all on that. Um... But Zodiac stuff tends to sell well. I've already sold the Scorpion mug I got the other week. So, uh, and this represents all the Zodiac. And then I picked up some more Lulu Row tights. Again, I don't normally go pink. But look at that awesome mommy. Most inappropriate spot for it. But generally no one's going to be seeing me wear these anyway. Because they're going to be for around the house or under other things in winter. But... Apparently, I missed a whole pile of them. Rita said she had a whole nother Lululemon section, but I only found these, like, on their own with, like, a Santa pair. So, I'm kind of glad because they were three bucks a piece, so I can't really afford to buy too many at once, and this makes four in the month already. Uh, but, little monster, kind of like Frankenstein monster-ish and bride, but stylized. And I do believe that was everything. So not a bad haul this week. It was just a little more disappointing today to find anything. Although my father did great rummage selling today. <laughs> All right, well, I'll leave the links for my Trash Good Treasure Shop, both at Etsy and eBay, down below. Thanks for watching.